Hello friends, in the last video, we have discussed about the Rankine's theory and its assumptions. In the present video, we will study about the active state. Rankine's active state. Rankine's active state. So, first let us represent the retaining wall. Let us assume that this is the retaining wall. And what is the assumption in Rankine's theory? The back fill is truly horizontal at the top. So, at the top, this is truly horizontal. Let us say this is the level of the soil. And this back fall is completely vertical and smooth okay and the soil is retained here and now we are studying about the active state imagine if this wall is trying to moving away from the back field then what about the contact surfaces if you understand or if you imagine the failure pattern then as the soil or as the retaining wall, let us assume if the retaining wall is moving away from the backfill, if you understand it, only the some part of the soil will be in contact with this retaining wall. The remaining soil will be in this stable position only. Isn't it? Only this part of the soil, this failure pin is called it as a planner. As the soil mass is moving away from the backfill, as only this much soil is in contact with the soil so whatever the point you consider let us say what are the stresses acting on the plane point sigma v nothing but a vertical stress as you are talking about the active state let us say sigma h be the lateral earth pressure so if you compare the magnitudes vertical stress will be larger than the horizontal stress why because as the retaining wall is moving away from the back wheel the intensity on the wall will be decreases because only this part of the soil will be in contact with that. That's why the horizontal stress will decrease. But your vertical stress will be in larger magnitude. Okay. Now, let us say your horizontal stress. So uh, now you are hanging only two stresses. What are they? Sigma V and Sigma H. Out of them, which one is minor and which one is major? Major is nothing but a vertical stress, maximum magnitude. So, if you are talking about the minor stress, that will be represented by sigma p. That will be equal to lateral earth pressure. That I am representing with some parameter p a, active earth pressure. Similarly, major stress will represent with sigma 1. That will be equal to sigma v. That will be equal to, how can I write it down? Gamma into z. Now, what is the relationship between minor and maximum principal stress? That can be written as sigma 1 will be equal to sigma 3 into tan square alpha plus 2 into c tan alpha. Now, if you remember what is the assumptions of the rankings, it is only applicable for the cohesionless soils. If it is a cohesionless soil, whatever the c value, 0. And whatever the alpha value, that can be written as 45 plus 5 by 2. So, if you substitute those values in the equation, sigma 1, that is what a vertical stress, that will be equal to sigma 3 that is nothing but horizontal stress then to tan square of alpha f. alpha is nothing but a 45 plus 5 by 2 plus c is also equal to 0 now we are interested in finding the horizontal stress so if i rewrite the terms what i will get sigma h that will be equal to if if tan will go that side how much you will get cot square of 45 plus 5 by 2 into sigma v if I assume this is some constant k, now we are talking about the active earth pressure. That's why I will represent it with k subscript a. P sigma h is nothing but a active earth pressure that will be equal to some constant k a into sigma v. That means wherever the point you know, if you can find the vertical stress, then by multiplying some constant k a, then we can obtain the active earth pressure. So here Ka is nothing but a, what we can call it as 
active earth pressure constant active earth pressure constant that will be equal to part square of 45 plus 5 by 2 instead we can easily remember with simple equation that is ka that will be equal to part square we can find out by 1 minus sin 5 divided by 1 plus sin 5 so by using this relation that means depending upon the soil we will find out the phi value if you know phi value then we can find out the active earth pressure constant then wherever you want the active earth pressure first find out the vertical stress and multiply this magnitude then you will get the active earth pressure magnitude okay in the next video we will discuss about the rankin's passive state thank you